वेलकम एवरी वन दिस केस इज अ केस ऑफ न्यूरोमस्कुलर टॉक्सिसिटी पॉसिबली ड्यू टू बेनम स्नेक इंटॉक्सिकेशन और एन इंसेक्ट बाइट एज यू कैन सी द पेशेंट ट्रेंड इट टू अस इन ट्राइच एट सिक्स थर्टी ए एम विद कंप्लेन्स ऑफ एबडोमिन डिस्कम्फर्ट सच एज नोशिया वोमिटिंग विच वॉज फॉलोड बाय हाइपर एमिया कंजेशन ऑफ द आईज डिप्लोपिया and then doses we decided to take a call on administering anti snake venom 10 miles of anti snake venom were given over an infusion rate of 2 hours following which the patient was reassessed another 10 miles of anti snake venom were given the patient showed no signs of improvement and the patient further deteriorated with symptoms like stridor The SpO2 saturations were falling. We decided to electively intubate the patient. As you can see, the patient is now intubated. Following which, a trial of injection atropine and neostigmine were given. Now, whenever you suspect a neuromuscular toxicity, two things should come in mind. One might be banded crate or just crate, or two. the cobra poison now according to the local site you can see there are multiple bite marks one on the fingers allegedly the patient tried to throw the animal or the insect away which was infecting or intoxicating the patient locally you can see there is no sign of inflammation redness or edema a cobra intoxication will show signs of intoxication inflammation edema so in this case a cobra intoxication is effectively ruled out which leaves us with the banded crate and in this case since atropin and neostigmine was not giving us effects effectively that is why 